hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've never seen any of my videos before um to be fair i am a pretty new youtuber and i haven't done that many videos to be honest i've only been doing it a couple of months so i just wanted to come on and basically explain why i've changed my name I've literally been racking my brains from the very beginning what I could call it and I know most people that just talk about their lifestyle and things like that just call them by their own name but I'll be pretty honest with you my name's boring like Becky Lunn like it just doesn't sound that interesting um so yeah i'll be honest with you i come up with the, i loved the idea of little miss and when i got diagnosed with autism i thought little miss autistic like what a brilliant name and the reason behind that is because so many people since I got diagnosed were like, no way, you don't look autistic. There's no way you're autistic. Do you know, just like stereotype because I love hair, nails, makeup, sparkly things. Like, I tried my best my whole life to like blend into the background, which I'm like very, very good at by now like i've had i'm 35 so i've had a long time watching people and copying what everybody else does so i've basically got it off to a t really just copying everybody else but i just thought little miss autistic i just think it was a proper cool name it just proves to people that you can be girly and you look normal and you can still struggle in life like it's not about what you look like um so i played with the idea for ages and i was like i suffer from so many different mental health issues that i didn't really want to just put myself in the category of talking about autism because i feel like i'd be cheating everyone to be honest because because, 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 um, I got a late diagnosis, so I don't know as much as a lot of other people do. I got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder first, and I know quite a lot about that, to be honest. Like, I want my channel to be about mental health and normalising it in the sense of, talking about it and helping other people and actually helping people that don't suffer from mental health so they can understand if the partners suffer from it but i also want to do a, a fun channel and a channel about makeup and lifestyle that's what i'm actually really interested in and that's what type of person i am so yeah i decided to change it but because I'm so impulsive, I've paid someone to design me a banner and an intro and all that kind of stuff, like raring to go, even though I'm skin. And that's what actually happens when you suffer with these kind of things. Like I've got ADHD now, which I've only just found out. Um, so yeah, like reckless behaviour and impulsiveness is something that I suffer really badly with and now i thought do you know what if i'm gonna change it i need to change it quick because if i don't i'm just gonna keep putting more videos out going welcome to my channel little miss autistic and then in a few years to come it's like it's gonna be a nightmare to try and change everything and I've not made any videos about autism yet because I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning about autism. I've got a hell of a lot to learn about autism. I know I've struggled all my life, but it's like trying to section out what's my personality, what's the borderline personality disorder, what's the autism, 
what's the um adhd like i don't know i don't even know myself half the time so i just wanted to let everyone know so that they're not thinking what is going on here but yeah i thought people would be like right you called yourself little miss autistic so they're going to expect hundreds of videos about autism basically so i just felt like i was just scamming everyone because i know fuck all absolutely fuck all like yeah a lot of stuff makes sense to me now but i still need to learn a hell of a lot more information i really hope no one was offended by that name but i just wanted to prove that just because you suffer with autism that you don't look a certain way and that you can actually still be into looking beautiful and putting makeup on and being really girly and it's also masking like this is my mask i hide behind this this makes me feel more confident probably a lot of people do it my fella though bless his heart went and got me a pillow and it says little miss and then he actually put autistic on it was as well i was like you could have just put the little miss on like i don't actually i know my channel's called that but if i ever did any merch or anything like that i wouldn't put little miss autistic so that's what made me think i need to change this up because now it's little miss nightmare I love that because I'm like a little miss, little, I'm like girly and I'm a nightmare. I'm an absolute fucking nightmare because I have all these illnesses that mingle into one and I never know what the hell is going on, to be honest with you. And I bet you there's so many more people out there that can relate to that because suffering from all these things is a nightmare like i'm in a good mood today but when i'm depressed and on one you literally feel like you're in a nightmare and it's never ever gonna end so i thought it was a pretty good name so let's hope that I can never trust my own judgment because one minute I think something's a good idea and then I change my mind. So I really, really hope that I stay liking this name and in the future, I hope I do really, really well. I'd love to do really well and actually see like hoodies and shit like that with Little Miss Nightmare on. Like that's what I'm thinking about. Probably never happen, but... Yeah, they're my dreams, basically. Everyone can have dreams, can't they? So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on and actually explain to you what is actually going on. And if you've got... Well, you won't have got anything out of this video because I was just explaining. But I'd absolutely love it if you could subscribe and give me a thumbs up because it would really, really help me out. And uh, I just really want to do well in this. I've actually found something that I'm really passionate about. And I think it'll do my mental health good and a hell of a lot of other people's that are suffering too because they'll be able to relate to a lot of stories and subjects that I bring up. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.